Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with an excellent case for iPhone 7 Plus by the company Xdoria. This is their Defense Lux case in black leather, and it's really quite outstanding. The perimeter is surrounded by a machined aluminum rim. We have a panel of a grippy black leather on the back. Overall, we have a stylish look, plus this comes with two meters of drop protection for your iPhone 7 Plus. Just a really great case. Let's take a closer look. Construction-wise, the Defense Lux is actually a two-piece case with a machined aluminum rim that runs around the edges and the interior. You have a combination of a softer rubber and a polycarbonate, as well as the leather here on the back. All of these combine to give it military-grade protection. In fact, it exceeds military-grade protection, as this has 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection, which is just a really impressive amount. So putting this on your phone is surprising simple. I was a little bit worried about it, but it actually goes on quite easily. We have a little latch here that you need to loosen so that you can swing out this bottom bit. And then you just slide your phone in as with a typical case. I usually always put the volume side first and then pop it into place on the other side. Once that is done, then you can replace your section here on the bottom and clip your nice little latch shut. And then you're installed, and wow, this is a really nice tight-fitting case on the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, I have had a lot of people who get concerned about a loose and floppy fit. You are absolutely not going to have that with a Defense Lux. Because of this metal rim that runs around the edges, um, this is just a super tough, uh, super tight fit around the edges. The way they've done it is just really excellent. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised that no one else has come up with a design like this that fits on so nice and so firmly. This is just really quite excellent. So looking at the amount of lip we have, we've got tons of lip on here, actually. Nice, big, protective lip surrounding the screen. I don't actually have any kind of a tempered glass screen protector on here right now, so this is the maximum amount of lip you're going to have, but still, you could put a nice thick glass screen protector on here and you're still going to have lots of lip. Looking at our port openings, you should be able to fit many, if not most, third-party lightning cables in here. All of mine fit just fine, and we do have sufficient protection for the speaker and microphone areas. Going around to the side, kind of have a cool look here with these little red latches on the bottom. I really do like that. I mean, this is just a very different looking case, but it's extremely cool. Have a little tiny bit of Exodoria branding down here on the sides. Going along the sides, um, this is not really a grippy thing. Um, the material is metal, but overall, because of the grippy leather on the back, this does have a nice amount of grip in the hand, despite the fact that the aluminum itself is not actually all that grippy. Um, our buttons are aluminum, and they feel very nice in the hand and have a nice click to them. There's not any issue in getting to the mute switch. Got a nice wide area for that. Going around to the side here, power button, also nice and clicky, no problems there. We also have a little bit more uh, of the branding down here at the bottom. This is the defense branding and another part of our red latch system, which is so cool. Looking at the back of the case, we have a little defense branding down here in the corner, and then this black leather on the back, as I said before, is very nice and grippy. This is also not going to show fingerprints or smears or smudges or anything like that, and feels like it should be quite durable. In terms of protection for our protruding camera, it's not tons of protection, but it's absolutely sufficient, and as long as you lay this down on a flat surface, you should be absolutely fine in terms of protection for your camera. There's also no issue with flash photography with this case. As far as reception is concerned, it's interesting what they have done here. They have some little openings in the aluminum down over here. Then you can see another one over here and another one up here. So what uh, those are for, I'm pretty sure, is to enhance reception. Reception is always a concern with an aluminum case. However, I haven't noticed any problems with my reception at all. Now, I live in an area with quite good T-Mobile reception, so maybe that's part of it. Perhaps people that are in poor reception areas might have some issues with this, but I have not noticed any. Everything has been just great with this. 
this case. So absolutely no problem. I just really love the look and feel of this defense case. Um, the Defense Lux is just an awesome case, and uh, I definitely think that it is worth looking into. It also doesn't add that much thickness or weight to your phone and has a very nice, very secure feel in the hand. Again, we've been looking at the Xdoria Defense Lux in black leather for iPhone 7 Plus. This case retails for $34.95 and is available directly from Xdoria as well as from other retailers. Many thanks to the kind folks at Xdoria for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this case, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please consider it. I do try to put out two to three videos a week on accessories for iPhone 7 Plus, iPad Pro, and Samsung Galaxy S7, and I would love to have your support. Again, this is Kristen with the Xdoria Defense Lux in black leather for iPhone 7 Plus. Have a fantastic day.